for so long. We've been here. We've been trying. Hi there, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Springboard Hangout. The Springboard Hangout, as you know, is your fun educative program where we have fun and yet learn interesting things about different subjects all over the world. This year, this tonight, we're talking about personal branding and we're looking at personal branding from an interesting perspective because you know a personal brand kind of says something or gives a perception about you and how people perceive you whether it is true or not that's kind of a different thing and we will explore that however sometimes we just think that it is you the individual but because of our modern day world we're on google about one million um, um, searches are made for an individual for maybe some opportunity going on somewhere or the other and um, we felt that we should start with the personal brand online so today we're talking about online personal branding and I don't know about you but unless you're not interested in increasing your presence or making sure that you get the best deals that are in town I think this is a story or this is a program that you must be part of and so get online and be part of this hangout it's going to be exciting and as you know here is all about fun and education we're we'll right back from this quick break <laughs> so good oh you saved me from my enemies and given me no life never let me down oh i see you always provide oh i can't believe how you love me and call me your wife and i don't know what to do oh the way you love me just have blow my mind yeah yeah and i to say oh you are good to me all the time yeah I, baba god oh how can i ever repay you your protection your blessings your grace and your favor your love and your mercy now you've been good oh mm, so so good oh i don't deserve no i don't deserve this love you give to me and i don't know what to do oh the way you love me just to blow my mind blow my mind you blow my mind and i don't know what to say oh you are good to me all the time yeah, I, I don't know deserve no i don't know deserve your love and your mercy your grace and your care so i'll go outside and i'll tell all the world you are good you are good i, I don't know deserve no i don't know deserve your love and your mercy your grace and your care so i'll go outside and i'll tell all the world you are good you are good eh. and i don't know what to do oh the way you love me just to blow my mind yeah and i don't know what to say oh you are good to me all the time yeah, yeah. baba god oh oh yeah baba god oh the way you love me just to blow my mind yeah yeah and i don't know what to say oh you are good to me all the time yeah, yeah. yeah see this far by grace everything you do it for my case the plans of the enemy you delete back space i'm the head another tail yeah that be my base see the blessings arranged like a lattice i go take my time i go feed practice when is the business it won't be for me like the taxes no be exponential that be quadratics yeah all the 
the blessings I see. Goodness and mercies are following me. God is my victory, there's no stopping me. Cup overflowing, I'm spilling some tea. Yeah, all these blessings I see. Goodness and mercies are following me. God is my victory, there's no stopping me. Cup overflowing, I'm spilling some tea. I love you, Papa God. Elohim, you're my God. Oh, Papa God. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, I'm Jake, Jake Morris, and I travel globally. But when I'm in Ghana, York's Rent a Car is my reliable choice for safety and comfort on the road. York's Rent a Car provides comprehensive logistic services to mainly blue chip companies as well as individual clients. At a time we needed a car rental service, and York's fitted in very well by our standards. Their services is top notch. Drivers are on time. It was beautiful to see them behind the wheels. And any time they pick up a guest, the guests were very, very happy. Already? Yes. Excellent. Yorks Rent-A-Car provides services and expertise that include meet and greet services at the airport, car rental, driver personal outsourcing, and vehicle detailing. Co what's the problem? It's you. I told you. Yorks Rent-A-Car delivers world-class service to its customers, having their highest safety and comfort in mind. So watch you. Go over to open for him. Yorks rent a car, runs 24 7 operations where customers can make car reservations and inquiries of our services online and also call our hotline. Welcome back. And today, as I said, we are talking about personal branding, online branding, not just, you know the person I love. This is online branding. And here we are in this world where the internet is all over. To have Google searches for names only, don't talk about any other things, just names alone is one billion. The Obama may be looking for you, but will they find you online? In case they will not find you, you hang around and let's see how we can make you be found in the next, let's say, two or three weeks. So Bernard, Let's start from the basics. How did you get into um, branding and especially online branding? Okay, so from the research that you just read, mm -hmm. uh, content is everything. So just at the back end of my website, I checked that most of the leads that get me there is searching for Bernard Calvin Klein. Okay. So that's it. So people are looking for people. Yes. And and that led me there. So I, I got online as a way of fun, trying to put my name there, you know, yeah. get my name there. Yes, yeah, but I yeah, must be there. That's the kind of thing. But I realized that a lot of conversation was going around the name search, people looking for who this person is, what he does. That gave me a lot of openings. So I decided to pay more attention to my online presence, then it also help other people to position myself. So themselves, that's how I got online to do the online branding stuff. Great, great. I mean, I, I, I personally, if I'm going to, in, uh, going to see someone, a CEO or something, I would always go online, search. search for the person's name, and see, okay, what are the person's interests and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So sometimes, honestly, right now, if I search for the person, I don't see anything about the person online. I'm like, hmm, mm -hmm. why is the person not online? And maybe sometimes I even think that the person exists. Mm. But today, let's find out what is a personal brand. We are starting from the basics, so we are building a oh. story. So what is a personal brand? Okay, so generally, let's look at if someone hears about the name Comfort Okran, what comes to mind, or Albert Okran, what comes to mind? So it's speak from the word, I mean, perception. Okay. So how people perceive you is how they receive you. So personal brand is how you distinctively market your uniqueness. Uh, I like the way uh, you say distinctively <laughs> market your uniqueness. Yes. So here we are, we have people who may have distinct ways of marketing themselves right. um, in person. But right now, a lot of us are living online. Mm. And therefore, what different, what's the key differentiating factor between the online brand and the person. How do we start the basics about marketing somebody online? 
or having a personal brand online, not marketing, but having a personal brand. Okay, so the, 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 the first most important thing is you start with why, before you get online. Okay. Why do I want to go online? Okay. What is my purpose? What is my aim? What do I, want to, what do, what do I seek to achieve? So that needs to be settled. So if your why needs to be crystal clear, then you know the channels, the conduits, and how to get yourself online. But if you just join in the masses because they're online, then you'll be doing a lot of trial and error and don't know what to do. So you need to firstly assess yourself, why am I going online? I want to be discovered, I want more clients, I want jobs, I want this. Your why needs to be clear. Okay, well, where can I find even people who are like me or people who I want to do business with or want them to hire me? So that's the second question that comes in still in your why. When you answer these questions, then we come to the proper place of how then you can start. Okay, so before we get to the how to do that, shouldn't you actually drill down who you are? Doesn't that play a, a, a role in the way you, mark, you, you, you brand yourself online, who you are in terms of your core values, in terms of um, what, you, what, what you, you, are, you want to be noted for and so on and so forth? Yeah, so that's the core aspect uh, of the brand, like mm -hmm. you mentioned, distinctively marketing your uniqueness. Yeah. So once you know yourself, mm -hmm. but if you don't know yourself, then it means you'll be ma making a lot of mistakes going online. So that's a very critical aspect of finding you. Yeah. Then you're going to find and position yourself online. So the first is uh, finding yourself. Uh, that's in your why and all that. So your purpose, why you exist, why you do what you do and all that. Yeah. Then you can translate that online. You see, the, the thing about online is you can be anything and everything you want to desire to be, but if it's not in sync with who you are offline, then there's a mismatch and it's a problem. Yeah, because I know I like fun. That's why I have this program, so I'll have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd love some, some, some more. Because um, that, that distinction makes somebody who is selling, let's say, cocoa. Mm -hmm. One person, the way the person sells cocoa is different from how another person sells cocoa simply because of the individual promoting mm -hmm. that particular brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, it reminds me of very recently, I was actually in this studio at around, I mean, where, where we're doing a hangout. And then I, I, I suddenly, I felt like eating gobe. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it was almost like I had to eat it now, yeah. there. And, and there was only one place I could think about. Right. Can you guess which Gobe place I was thinking about? Um, no. The one at Osu. Osu. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, right. okay. Yes. In, in, near, in, in, near um, uh, you know, behind the Echo Bank. Yes. That, that, yes. that lane. Yes. Yeah. That was the only, the only Gobe that I wanted to eat. Agbamami. Agba, yes. I, that was the only one. I, why? Because... She has branded herself so well. I mean, and whenever you get there, it is hot, mm -hmm. it is fresh. So I knew that I could get the quality that I wanted if that was what I wanted to eat at that time of the night. Though she wouldn't be working at that time, so I had to wait for the next day. And I did go and get it the next day for FYI. Okay, so yes, um, and she has created a brand for herself. So. If we are taking an example from her end, could you then tell us why it's important to create a particular brand for yourself? Okay, so one, it makes easily you make it makes you easily discoverable. Okay. So when it, when it, like you you create for Gobe, her name came to mind. Exactly. Yeah. So that's if you don't. Create a, what, a, what I really emphasize or in a niche for yourself in the mind or the space of people, then you are messing it. So when you think of something small, okay, I want to go back. Who or where can I get this? One, two, three names come to mind. So mm -hmm. that is a little thing that you need to do. Then you translate that online. Mm -hmm. So what I want, what what do I want people to find me for, or what I want to help people with? That little thing is what you translate online, so that they can find you easy. Uh, to recognize and do business, and two, it gives you leverage. Leverage. Yes. So, so you, you, you you must have your why. You must have what niche you are working okay. with, yeah. and then leverage. Okay. So, yeah. so that it, it, that becomes your lever for your success. So that okay, because I have a brand, you can call me. I can help people with A, B, C, D. So they can refer people to me, uh, my service, my products, my business. Now, it, it, set, it sets you apart from the competition easily, mm. easily. Now, let me throw this. If you, if you 
at this moment you want uh, maybe a new frames, spectacle frames, what, what, what brands come to mind? You know, one, two, three. Okay, so if you are thinking of just at the moment, if there's no person or product comes to mind and you are not, you are not in that name, then it means your brand is missing. So that's the thing you need to do, then translate, okay, I know why I'm going online. Even online, I need to pick an edge. I'm not going to say everyone, okay? Okay, everyone, everyone, no, no. So I won't say only nursing mothers. Mm. Okay, I want to serve maybe certain community help community. Once you pick that small niche and, and you come up with yourself, I keep on saying the word, be yourself, be yourself. It's mm -hmm. very important online. Okay, the style in which you pro, pro, promote your products and services is very important. Even just than, than your products and services. Okay, some will use fun, some will use uh, jokes, some will use whatever. Uh, let me throw in this uh, quickly. See, uh, our mutual friend Selo. Okay, yes. okay, okay, let, yeah. me, let me mention when he started social media, he was a he, he said social media just occasionally post few things here and there because I'm his friend all these years, so I know. But when he said to bring himself that he's he want to be jovial, just share the fun aspect that got, got, got people's attention. Yeah. Then occasionally he said his business, okay, oh, he's a serious person, but you know, he, have a, he, have, he has a life, fun, a light side, yeah. okay, so that humane aspect attracted people to him. And that caused him to help out to promote his business and more. So he used that. He didn't come, okay, business, business, business. Buy my product, buy my service. No, 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 no. So that normal, everybody wanted to relax. Yeah. But we still want yeah. to do business. Yeah. So that aspect, that unique, that little thing, is what that helped me in his online presence. So you pick what you want to do, how you want to share your content. That's very critical. The angle is important than just the content in your positioning. So the angle is important to be able to leverage that to do what you want to do online right so um by the way the salon that he was referring to is cello arts this beautiful young gentleman who is doing great things not just online but um he does um, um what, what 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 do you call this place he does um it's called a science center science and uh, when science he does it for you you, you 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 check it out so check cello art right yes, yeah. that's the the the, the, the online um platform called check settle out and you see someone who is really into doing he loves stuff. gobel he loves gobel, gobel yeah. as well then we have to hang out <laughs> and get some yeah. <laughs> right so i presume that there's some information that you must have online yes you have identified your niche you have identified your why you have said okay this is you, you even offline this is me as a person so how what how do i translate that online what are the key as um, bits of information i must put there for my for my for my brand to to be relevant or for people to look for first most important thing or what i'm going to talk about throughout is the three c's three one C's. yes content. content everything online is content hey, content content is, 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 is <laughs> difficult to okay we'll look at it everything later. is content mm. hangout conversation you're having is content okay yeah so everything the the twist of our content on your show is the fun aspects yeah okay and you being you so the, everything is online content most important so i'm going on what kind of content do i want to share right what kind of content if you have no content you have no place to go you can attract clients, no customers, you can be hired, um, you are missing. So content, and you pick an angle of the content. What type of content? I want to do video, I want to do audio, I want to do a mixture. So what kind of content will get the attention of people that I need? Okay, is it humor? Is this, I mean, more corporate? Whatever, pick the angle that still resonates with you and your audience. So your content is critical. Now, when I pick a person like, Manasia Zuri, mm -hmm. okay, he, he posts long form content, okay, uh, about all, all the research he's doing or the investigation he has. So, uh, one thing you can verify that is information has been verified. So, if I want verified information, okay, I can trust that which comes from Manasia. Yeah. So, okay. the angle of his content is verified content. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that yeah. is the angle he's bringing on board. On, on yes. board. Okay. So, you find out which angle, what type of content, and how. So, uh, Big Gordon bring big case studies, okay, detailed content. It's long post detailed content about something he's done. Or he's helped so, detailed content analysis, you can go through all that. So, that's the angle of his content he's sharing online. So, all these people pick a particular content. Sometimes they might not even know. 
But it leads, but, yeah. yes, it leads to what the second part. Let me mention that quickly before we go. That is called consistency. So you have content, you have consistency. Yes. Let's go on. So if you have content and the content is big, today that's content, next week, separate different, different content. It doesn't, there's no, there's no uh, consistency. It doesn't click. It doesn't like, people don't know what you stand for, who you are, what you do. Uh -huh. uh, Jack of all trade, master of none. But who, who, how can we find, pinpoint who, what he or she does? So if you are consistent, it sticks. So I said consistency instills believability. Okay, I can. Consistency instills believability. So people tend to believe you. Okay, well, cool. let's look at the struggle. For the past 12 years, 10 years, 5 years, 6 years, you or she has been doing this consistently. We can trust this person. Right. And then the last C. The last in all this aspect is um, what we call, what we all talk about, your audience, audience. So... You, 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 we talk about your audience, your market. Uh, so you need to connect with your audience, the right audience. So sometimes, based on who your audience is, you choose the type of platform and the type of content for them. So the, these three things uh, are in, in circle, they are interlocked. If you don't know your content, you don't, you don't know your audience, uh, you can't connect with them the right content. So what do they want? So I don't know, even know what they want. So what do I produce? Short videos, long videos? Do I do audio? Do I do podcast? Do I do humor? I don't even know what they want. So you, you are just messing up the whole thing. But okay, I know these people. I know Nelson Mades. Uh, 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 they are going through a period of, uh, in their life. Okay, So I need to inject a little more of humor in the type of content to keep them relaxed. Then I can sell my product. Right, right, right. That, that's, that's, what, what, what you said is so, so... Um, I like the, the fact that I have identified myself, I have identified the kind of thing I want to do, but those are just um, two angles. Now I have to be consistent, I know I have to first define the, how I'm going to put that out in a, in a way that will connect with my audience. I also have to be consistent in what I put out so that I don't put it out today, tomorrow. Mm. Then I run away for about five days, like sometimes I do, and then come back next two weeks, you know, with something. But then if I say that I'm doing it um, every day at two o'clock, I do it consistently every day at two o'clock. But every day at two o'clock, is it realistic? Um, it depends. It depends. And it's, sometimes they know even they miss it. When they come back, they can find it. Okay. And that's the most important thing. They okay. can find something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. And then also I need to, so connect consistency and also... Um, um, Believability, right? Content, consistency, connection. Three C's, right? So you have done this, but you know, you and I, you know, that is about so you and I, all of us, we know that uh, social media is not just one platform, it's like I have a hundred platforms. Yeah. So, how does one person decide that I'm going to use platform A, platform B, platform C? Actually, first, how many platforms should we use ideally? And then from there, from that, let's then look at um, which of them would we use so that we can get, we can be able to connect with our audience. So we have our 100 platforms. <laughs> Where do you start? What do you do? Where do you decide which one you would use? And then following there, how do you connect with your people? Okay, so um, there, yeah, there are so many platforms and new ones keep emerging every day, being better. Uh, so the top of the list I tell people is that the top three, Facebook, Instagram, now TikTok is working, and maybe LinkedIn, uh, Twitter. This, these four are good to start with. However, there are other niche platforms where you don't even know that still help you to reach your audience and market. So your audience will also define where you should go. Fantastic. So if I don't know where you are, I need to know where you are, then I'll connect with yes. you. But if you don't know, then you can say, okay, let me do the generic two. Yes, okay. then you begin from, okay. from, okay. from there. Right, right. And then following that. So once you find out, you, you just also need to test the platforms for a period of time. You don't go all out. You mm -hmm. test the water. So if, you, if it's Instagram, I, I, I try some few, uh, about two weeks or to a month, uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, or Twitter. You, you just test the platform and look at uh, what is working. Maybe in somebody who's also in a similar niche with you, what are they doing? How can I come up with a different angle, like all the things I've, I've mentioned? Then you try the platforms, because you can't spread yourself too thin. Let me mention a friend, Kwame, Kwame Opoku. Mm -hmm. He is a master on Instagram. Facebook posts can post for a whole hour, nobody like a comment. 
it go to Instagram, thousand view and all that. Wow. That is a sport. That so that's a that's a hot spot. Yes. So he just yes. connects yes. there, but you know keeps a, 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 yeah, a the some, platform just getting, just just like he, yeah. Yes. But yes. so he has his Instagram. Instagram yes. I, I I no one has a lot of side because he used to tag me a lot. Nowadays I don't I don't he doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's now he's he's moved. Yes. Go to Instagram. <laughs> you can you can, you find him. He's doing awesome there. Fantastic, yes. fantastic. So he's finding his fourth his place that this is where I belong. This is where I can find all this. This is where I can meet their needs. So I focus, I put all my energy here. The others, I just keep it running um, and to just um, let people know I exist, you know. Charlie, this one, you won't get it anywhere. It's only on Springboard Hangouts. And today we are hanging out with Bernard Clyde. He is one of the key people on online branding. And I'm glad we had the opportunity to, 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 to pull him into the studio and chat with him today. And um, we, um, thank you for sending your messages as well. I have here Pearl from Achimota who says that, hello, I'm into bead making. How do I create an online presence to market both myself and business? And then secondly, um, how often would you advise that I post my content in a week? So he's asking about how do I create my online presence? Can you just summarize for her quickly? Because we've done that, but... Yeah, she bring us beats. We like beats. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She should bring us beats. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so this beats is sponsored by or powered by. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> Pearl. Pearl, this is what you need to do. So there are so many people who produce beats. Um, mm -hmm. So find a particular. Okay, I want to really start focus on beats for uh, maybe you know find a. a, a a niche. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give you some cool answers, but find people who who on the numbers people don't love beats or they might love beats. Then start marketing it to them. Package in the way they will love it. Okay. So if I know that Auntie Comfort loves beats, let me bring here some. Sometimes you can use what they call micro influencers. Mm -hmm. It's indirect. I'm, I'm not pitching, but you know, okay, you, you you use them to help you sell your products. Yeah. So you can look at that as as well. Once you find and that, I'm always strong on that because when you start to sell. Be to everyone, you are missing it. But when you find a niche, a small group, you want to meet their needs, you, then you post consistently. At least once a week is fine or twice a week is fine. So probably you can do that. And also listen, what are they saying? What conversation is going around? Then you can you know what to do with the kind of things people are saying. Fantastic, fantastic. I have here um, Efe from Coco Biti. Efe, you are saying that um, how can, can, is it possible that your efforts at um, brand building can be misinterpreted as pride and self promotion. If so, what do you do? Okay, first of all, uh, people will think whatever they want to think. Don't focus <laughs> so much on that. You know. <laughs> Let them have their talks. You are saying yeah, that, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what talk to you. Yeah, it will have a life. It, it will talk. So, uh, the, but the thing is that personal brand is also not about personal bragging. I've done this, I've done that. Even if it is for yourself, let me know how would that help A, B, C. Mm -hmm. Then that's a clear distinction. But this is always about myself. I have this, I have this, cars, I have this. It's just self-promotion and it doesn't get anywhere. But even if you got this, how you got it, how is it going to help someone else? How are you helping people? People love people who help people. Mm -hmm. Then it means you are really in business now. So focus on people, focus on people, and your brand will be doing well. Focus on people, focus on people, and focus on people again. There's three P's of um, branding yeah. online. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so I jump off from me. Someone also says that is going quiet also part of brand building. Must I always post? If not, how much is too much? Will you be missed if you are gone? Ooh. Answer that question, and you know how much is too much or overboard. Will I be missed if I'm gone? gone? If I don't post, Charlie, who, who will, cares? You, will, you, will you guys miss me if I don't <laughs> post? I have to know too. So please yeah. answer it and let me know right now. Will you miss me if, I'm, if I don't post? Yeah. Who miss the contents? So you look at some of these key questions. There are people who constantly go on your page. Mm -hmm. uh, find them when you go to even your page. You can find those who are consistent. Even now, Facebook giving badges and all that. Find them, engage them personally. This is a key secret thing. Engage with those key people who are always on your post, liking them. Don't let them go. They are your core tribe to bring in more people. So, if you such people, if you don't post this, oh, 
uh, anti comforts we didn't hear from you this week or is everything fine or that they are your key people but if nobody is checking on you it means Charlie, yeah you can do whatever deal, you want you know, no, they, you, know, you know they care but make sure that you know not too much content but content if you start for over a month you will know what time you need to post and what time you should, it's different for everyone i realize early mornings work for me late afternoon whatever doesn't work so you should find out your audience then you post for them but not too don't overload them but once, twice, I mean, a week is fine. At worst, that's okay. If not, people forget that you even exist. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine you're trying to get people to know that you, I mean, you are there, yeah. and then all of a sudden they decide that uh, you, you, you are chum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, um, um, coffee from Hachu, Charlie. Kofi be fashion guy. He's saying that I love to wear quality shoes. Mm -hmm. Can I build a brand around just that? Yes. I have a friend who is in the UK. She, he has a collection of about 40 types of different shoes. And we post on, and on Facebook and people went, where do I get this shoe? That's where a business that bet was bet from that. So somebody, you have no idea what you can do. Are you serious? Yes. You know, just just talking about his yes, shoes. Yes, these are my shoe co collections. Okay, where do I get it? Where do I get it? Okay, come on. Contact me now. You know, so that's business for him on the side. So just that way, wear the kicks, put it pictures online. You, even your WhatsApp is the best place. Put it there. Okay, how do I get it? Okay, it costs you this. I can deliver this. Start. You always can test with your WhatsApp status. Start now. Period. Oh, they said don't wait too. Because yeah, me, right for now. instance, I'm always on WhatsApp. And sometimes, you know, it, 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 it makes such, such a connection. So like, I think you're talking about their status, yeah, right? Yeah. Their WhatsApp status. Yes. Yeah, so use your WhatsApp status and see, gauge how that is going. If it's Ekoiyana, then you know that indeed you can move to you know, other parts of, of, of the social media um, system. Therefore, we've come to a very important time. We are look, we, we're going to the Game King Changer Break. When we return, we'll continue this exercise or this, this um, program where we look at more details about online branding with Bernard Clyde. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Think outside the box. It's the oldest creativity cliche, but sometimes innovation actually requires you to think about the box. This was certainly the case for Dutch bicycle manufacturer Van Moof. Van Moof has been changing the way people commute with its smart bikes, but their online sales approach ran into a big problem. One in every four bikes they shipped arrived badly damaged. And at $3,000 a bike, this was frustrating their customers and costing Van Moof an arm and a leg. So what did Van Moof do? Today, our game changer is packaging. Rather than chain shipping suppliers to minimize damage, Van Moof tried something unconventional with their shipping boxes. Realizing their similarity to TV boxes, Van Moof started printing flat screen TVs on their cartons to trick courier companies into handling their bikes with care. The strategy was odd, but it worked like a charm. Changing the way couriers perceived the bikes reduced delivery damage by 80%. Now tweaking their packaging may have saved Van Moof thousands of dollars, but that's not all it's good for. The principle can work for you too. You see, packaging is about perception. Couriers perceived the bikes as expensive and fragile, so they treated them that way. Similarly, if you're struggling to make sales and connect with your customers, your issue could be how your product or service is packaged. It's no use having the best product on the market if customers don't think it solves their problems. Look at it this way. Packaging influences perception, which drives profits. So this week, be honest with yourself. Is your packaging helping or hurting your products? This has been The Game Changer with Jojo Okren. Have a phenomenal week. Hi, welcome back. We are in the studios of the Springboard Hangout and today we are looking at branding yourself online. And we've been privileged to have been joined by the one and only Bernard Clive from, the, from Hangout, Facebook, everything, who is making waves on the online space, helping people to brand themselves. So we've looked at personal branding online, and we've looked at the fact that you need to discover your why, you need to discover additionally 
what you want to do, and then most importantly, what you stand for. So you've done, you've done that, and when you now go online, we have to see that you first need to be consistent, you also need to have some content that you are dealing with, and also you must connect with your people. This must be to a particular niche of audience, because you cannot be everything to everybody who is out there. Because, Charlotte, you are not jack of all trades. You remember when we were young, our people would say that a rolling stone gathers no moss. If you want people to know you, you want people to have you there at the back of their mind. When they say, when they talk about my famous gobe, you must be one of the three names that come up to me in their mind and say, oh, I'm going to buy gobe from here. So, you have identified what you are doing. You've seen your niche. You have been now consistent but, 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 the content, sometimes you don't know. Are you doing video? Bernard, how can you guide us in this particular space? The kind of content I put out, how do I, how do I decide what is the relevance of the good content for a particular sport or a particular type of, of, of online uh, space? Okay, so um, feedbacks are ways brands can look back. So, I like that. Feedbacks are ways that brands, brands can, can look back. So if you are producing content mm -hmm. and you are not listening for feedbacks, what are they saying? Are they liking? Do they love your message? Do they want a different angle or all that? When you're listening, you know what kind of content to push them more. Okay. But if you just keep on pushing because you have content calendar, you're making a mistake. So that content color, if you are telling me that that content color that we create, the content color that must kind of look on what the people want to create, and then you create that part. Yes. So when you listen, so great, great brands listen, they learn and they leverage. You listen, you learn, then you leverage consistently. Then you know what kind of content to produce. So I'm doing this. Uh, uh, this is with. Uh, and anti comfort in the studio. This is content I'm creating now. Yeah. So I put this on my status that okay, I'm with anti comfort uh, on, on, this, on the Springboard show. My state of okay, I put I put some few tags or whatever. Content is anything you put out there. But anything. 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 But it must be of value. Okay. I post uh, my book with Banku. People are so excited. The comments were more around the Banku than the book. <laughs> but but I was writing on that one to get more rich. Because it was only the book. Oh, I mean, you, 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 you get it. But something, oh, Banku, I like the Banku. So we, have, we had a lot of long conversation about the Banku. But then Facebook was showing the picture to a lot more people. people. And therefore, people. the book got a lot more. So I was, because one of the questions that someone asked, let me see, um, um, is it Bernard from, let me, let me make sure. This is uh, Charles. He was asking that what books would you suggest that one reads about online branding? So technically, these are some of the books that they can read about online branding. Um, Bernard, do you want to sh do you care to share about these books that you have on the table? Okay, so I have uh, this, the New Art of Personal Branding for Profit and Impact and CEO Branding. So you you need this one uh, to help you. All your stuff you need for online, you can find it here. Then, uh, but the person who asked concerning dressing and outfit, this is Finis, uh, a quick guide to corporate grooming, guide what to wear, what not to wear. Uh, for you. So you need this one as well too. Then this is so important in, for anyone who really wants to put yourself out there as an authority in your niche. So that how to build your authority online or offline, what do you need to do so you establish more credibility for what you do. So these three uh, packs are good for you if you want to start your, uh, your online. But you can always find a, a content online. But these, if you want books to read, I recommend these three books of mine for you to grab copies. Yeah. Oh, and, and please, because this happened on Hangouts, every book that he sells from today, <laughs> he would pay some of that. He would, he would donate some of that, just about five pesos. To, to hang out, what do you think? That's you agree the, with me, yeah, don't you? That's, yeah. That's, that's yeah, 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 So call yeah. now, then. If you <laughs> <and> you <know. laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Right. So, Bernard, um, I have been able to identify that content can be anything, but that content must be must suit my audience yes. so that it will it will it will be beneficial to everybody who is who is who is listening. Right or watching okay. or, or, or interacting with, with what I do. Um, but they've always heard 
and I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but I want to confirm, to confirm that in my quest to brand myself, what if I made a mistake? Because it is said that the internet does not forget. Yes. In every rule, there are exceptions. Mm. And in all these, there's always a way out. If you know mm -hmm. how. So that in your quest for being quote unquote famous and you think that's branding and you put all a lot of content out there, uh, you can always do reputation management. You repair your broken brand. You come back, have new face, new content, and you ensure that your content can bury the old one. So there's, there's what you call SEO hacking and all that, you know, uh, a good SEO positive all that, so that you can make sure that good content, when they search for you, the good content will surface in the first three pages of your of search. Then the, the very bad ones will go, because only crazy ones will go beyond f first five pages of Google. Search, yes. <laughs> First three, okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. Unless I want to dig and dig and dig and find something. Or, but, but so if you're able to put, produce more quality content over time, uh, it's, it, it helps to bury your, you know, and sometimes if, you, if it's, if, you know, it's good for you, sometimes it's about the blog content or that, you can able to uh, send messages to help them pull it down or something. There, there, there are ways out, and that's, that's what I want to try, but there are way, uh, ways out to help you bury your bad image online and then establish a rather proper, more reputable uh, uh, image of yourself online. And so uh, pay attention uh, to, to pay, what you share. Pay, pay attention to what, what, what you share. So, you, so if someone is out there and so the person made a remark about 10 years ago, that was not in very mm. good, good taste. You mean that it's possible for the person to, you know, kindly just continue putting good things and then with time, yes. that thing will settle at the bottom. Yes. And it's only those who really, really want to dig you who would go fine, and fine, resurrect. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but maybe you decide to go for political yeah. office. So. And, and you see, once you, people too are more forgiving if you are more human. Oh, I messed up. Oh, just, this new song, what, what is it? Is that uh, Sherry Black? Yeah, yeah, you know, you let, you let me know, oh, I messed up, you know. So it made that, I knew I was young, or in terms of young in quotes, I was, but now, you know, this is my new, look at my track record for the past five years. Look at what I'm doing. I understand I messed up. Haven't you messed up before? No, they understand. You'll be more forgiving than trying to be more defending. And in defense, that will not help. Fantastic, fantastic. I mean, I'm, I believe that you are learning so much and, and this has been a very interesting edition of the Springboard Hangout. So, in terms of young executives, and they are part of the, 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 the block with this, in terms of young executives, do we have particular um, programs or apps that they will thrive there in putting out who they are, the kind of um, training or expertise they have gathered in the, and so on and so forth. Are there any particular apps that are favorable or help young executives put a good um, brand out there online? Yes, first one that I, I highly recommend now, go, go on LinkedIn. Now they are accepting expert status uh, uh, where they allow you to live stream LinkedIn. It's more professional. So you, you can do that uh, then, Share expertise, two minutes, three minutes, do live stream, do something. You can share quality content, blog post on LinkedIn. When you sit on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is more searchable, easy to search. When you search for you and it links with LinkedIn, it raises the level of credibility and trust more. So young executive, be on LinkedIn. And you can be on all that platform, but add LinkedIn is very, very important. Add LinkedIn. LinkedIn. If you're a important. young professional yeah. and you want yeah. people to find you and also put out your expertise online. Um, so we've looked at this, we've, but Charlie, you and I know that everything has some investment value. Is social media free or is it expensive? <laughs> okay, so in, in the age and stage in which we are now for social mm -hmm. digital presence, mm -hmm. it's pay to play. Pay to play. Yeah, pay to play. So uh, 10 years, 8 years ago, you could put content there freely, everybody will see, but now Facebook is squeezing you. <laughs> so you could have 1 million followers when you post and you don't promote your post. Only about 0.1% of them will see. It's, it's real. It happens every now and then. I check. 
it happens. You can go, go online now, your favorite personality, go to their page. If, if it's not sponsored, the views or the likes are free. So the platform is, because they also want to make money, it's a pay to play game now. You have quality content, if you don't promote it, forget it. So that's why other people are now migrating to other micro platforms. Okay. Yes. You know, the internet, one of the, 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 the quiet rule is that he who has the gold makes the rule. I own yeah. Facebook, I determine what you post. So most importantly, and to convert what I tell people that going online, doing all the things we are mentioning is very important, but have a website. Right. That is your home. That is your home. That is yeah, your home. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is your home. Yeah, yeah. That is your home. So you, you just mentioned website. What are the key things that you must put on your website? Okay. Uh, let me mention a few things. Who you are, what you do, how you help people with. So when I go to your first page or your landing page, who am I? Who is this person? What is his achievement? Or what, how can he or she help me? If I don't know what you're helping with, the rest of you are just so... Who, then, contact number is very important. If it cannot be reached, you've lost business. So there's a phone line or the email. For locals, they don't re respond to emails. They send email, I have to call my send email and budget check. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your email you can. So very, very important. And build trust. And again, though it's virtual, physical location helps. So okay, we are located at X, Y, Z place. Okay, it means that at worst, I can find you. So these little, little things are very, very important. Contact. Contact is key because, okay, wow. Now, you need a number of social proofs. Okay, anti comfort does this and this and that. People are telling us what she does. We can see their yeah, badges have been on this, on that. So, okay, that, let me, I can really trust her. But if nobody's saying anything about who you are and what you do, it means you are. But, you know, let know if you help somebody. Let's see the case studies. Let's see the referrals. Let's see the reviews. So, when you see all this together, okay, ah, we can trust this person. We can trust this brand. Then it means your home. The website is now represents you 24-7 and it's helping you bring in more leads and clients and business. And that is what they talk about, bringing people, because I, because I understand that if you, when the person comes to your, on your website for the first time, the person just, is just finding information. Mm -hmm. But the person will not buy until yeah. the person revisits. Yes. So you must make sure that you do something that will let the people, person come, come back. back another time. And then hopefully, then based on the... Um, um, reviews that the person sees about you. The person can trust that, oh, if I buy from you, the person will not, will, will not disappear with my things, <laughs> but the person will deliver what I need. Bernard! Thank you. Thank you for coming on the Springboard Hangout to us to talk about personal branding online because our online presence makes sure that people know what we do and who we are. So Bernard, if I ask you to tell us three key things that you want us to remember from this conversation, what would they be? One, know yourself. Know your audience, then connect. So that's the first C. Yourself, your audience, what you have, that's you connect. Second, content. Content is the fuel that drives brands online. Content. What kind of content do I want to share? Video, audio, find the kind of content and that you really, really want to share online. Three, be consistent. Consistency instills believability. Now, all these things should be woven in credibility. If they can't trust you, you have no business. And on that, Bernard has landed for our program today. If the people cannot trust you, you have no business online, whether you are selling, whether you are just making jokes, nothing. Just please, please, please. Integrity is mm. so important. Credibility is what makes or unmakes you. So I don't know who you are, but I know some of you like Promise and um, Tiwa and um, also Vivi. I know you. And I can, I can vouch for you. But if you are there, people cannot trust you. People cannot say that when you talk about this particular person, you can be sure that he or she stands for what he's saying. Please, it is not too late. You heard it from Bernard. Start now. Start building credibility. Start building consistently. Consistency. Start 
reworking yourself, or as we say, rebranding mm -hmm. yourself. And in five years now, you will be the first name that will be mentioned if they talk about an online brand that can be trusted and that delivers the goods when he or she says that, I got this and I have you covered. Well, on Sunday, thank you so much, Bernard, for That's coming. You are very grateful, very, very grateful. And as you know, Sunday would have, a, would have this showing on ETV. Those who were not able to watch it, call them to come and watch it on ETV at 5 o'clock. And then at 7 p.m., the Holy Reverend Albert Okran will come your way with a springboard hangout. Hey, sorry, the springboard virtual university on Sunday at 7 p.m. on Joy FM as well as on um, our YouTube channel and on Facebook. Reverend Albert Okran will come your way with a springboard virtual university. And guess who he would have in studio? He has the one and only Honorable George Anda, who tells us about the why, the who, and the where about his life. Especially talking about his new book that he recently launched. So don't go anywhere. Call someone to be part of that program as well. And until we come your way next week with another exciting edition about the Springboard Hangout. You are blessed. You are loved. Enjoy a fantastic week. You are the best thing that ever happened to us here on earth. God bless you and enjoy yourself. Bye. I love you.